Uh, hello everybody here. Welcome back to some Ragnar Mod 6. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am, mostly. So, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is that you do. Uh, it's been a minute. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. I have been, like, crazy, crazy busy at work. Uh, so I've not had time to record back. Uh, going into the new year um so but yeah i've been busy uh if you can't tell i am stuffed up bad uh i've got a sinus infection what is that oh that's the villager downstairs he has a hat um so but i haven't really had time to record uh but i have been a little bit busy around here uh not a whole lot uh one of the things i've been doing a lot of afk in and one of the things I realized we're doing a lot of AFK in is our chests were filling up pretty quick. Uh, so I kind of took care of that. We've got everything now running into our system. Uh, these guys here, I have added another wither uh, to it. Uh, we weren't getting a ton of stuff for Nether Stars, added some more. Uh, and then all the rest of them are still the same, except for there's this guy right here, maybe? Yeah. Uh, I added a Elder Guardian in here. Went to the... Lost Cities Dimension, uh, I knew where there was a, I knew we'd come across a underwater temple and got one and I want some stuff for some seed landers. So all this stuff is now going into our system. Uh, this guy is now running uh, all the time. It is running into our system. Uh, these guys are now all going into our uh, system. Uh, and then I added a few more of the Inferium plants because we'll, we'll look at that here in a minute, uh, which is the reason why we've got all this set up. Uh, I have been at work making seeds. I got bored the other night, had a few hours. I decided to do a bunch of seed crafting, and we have got all of the seeds, pretty much uh, all the mob seeds which the mob seeds aren't that bad in this pack it's just ender pearls we don't have to do the soul vials or whatever it was that we had to do before uh it was really just crafting we had most of the stuff that we needed uh to do these uh there was a few things that i had to go get for these guys most of them i had um we had to make the tinkers ingots i did have to go um, I did some fishing. Uh, I don't know if I've still got my fishing pole on me or not to get the Neptunium um, one. We had to do some fishing to get it, uh, which is where we got some other... We got a bunch of quests to complete. Uh, we've got all these quests. Uh, I've updated the pack. There's a bunch of them. Uh, we've got the one for the rat quest, which we never did take care of when we got the cheese. Uh, miscellaneous quests, I did make the bigger builders one since we had nether stars. We never did claim all of these quests. And we made a slime sling a long time ago and never claimed that quest. Uh, I'm not going to do all that. I'll claim all these quests here in a minute. Um, and then we've going here, immersive engineering. Uh, we've got one for making the metal press uh, mechanism. We've got the steel casing and osmium compressor had to make that in order to do our refined glowstone seeds matter of fact it's right here uh but refined glowstone refined obsidian uh those uh so that's the mechanism quest we've got uh environmental tech we did do some of that uh, i have got where are we at here this way uh, i have upgraded this to a tier two uh, and it has been running, and it is going into the system. Uh, if we come down here and look, it's been running long enough. We have already got a bunch of Chironite, which is awesome. I have also, while we're down here, I have gone through and upgraded our reactor. Uh, it's now a reinforced. It's all made of steel. It is slightly bigger, not much. I think I went a couple more out and then one or two up. Uh, this thing, when it's running full power, is... 10,000 RF a tick. Not a ton, but it is taking care of everything that we need running right now. Uh, so, yeah, we've got that. 
uh, pneumatic craft, all I made was the compressed iron power. Um, that's one that we didn't complete before. Jelly fishing, we got the bubble wand from fishing. Uh, of course, we got all the mystical agriculture stuff. Uh, this was from updating the pack. These guys here. Uh, we do have blacker lotuses, which we are getting from, we have got a ton of the black lotus and the blacker lotus. Uh, so we've got all the mana that we need right now. Um, so there's that, and then we've got rats. Uh, we updated, uh, oh no, I made the orich clem. Speaking of rats, uh, in one of the updates that I did... Uh, our rats disappeared. We gotta have to get some more rats. We can't make string cheese, and we don't have the archaeol archaeologist one. Uh, so yeah, there's that, and we just got these guys here that we have not yet claimed uh, the rewards on. So I'm going to claim all these right quick and be back. All right. So as far as what we are going to do today, today is going to be kind of a hodgepodge of a few things. One, I want to get our first bit of Alf steel made. We're going to get that taken care of. Um, and then once we do that, we're going to start working on our, uh, we're going to work, do a little bit of refined storage work. All right, so for Alf steel, all we need is these three guys right here, our Dragonstone, we froze up, our Dragonstone, Elementium, and Pixie Dust. And then we need two full mana pools of mana. And this is going to take just a little bit to do. Uh, but that'll give us our first steel, or our first piece of Alf steel. And we're going to need a whole bunch of them. Uh, I think it's like nine or ten. Uh, to get what we need to do the seeds. But we've got that. And then as you see we used half of what we got. We can just come over here and go. Whoop, that's not what we wanted to do. We can come over here and just throw these guys in here. And it will fill it right back up. Which is awesome. 32 will not quite fill up a mana pool. A half a mana pool. The black and lotus give us a whole lot more. Right now, I'm just using these because we've got a whole bunch of them. And pretty easy, like it was three stacks, four stacks, I think it took just about to fill these up. We are right back to having our four full mana pools. Now, these do need to have a little bit of, or the black lotus and the blacker lotus need to have a little bit of mana in the pool in order for them to work. So, don't run them out or you'll have to do some other stuff. But for the time being, this is all we're going to do after this one. We're stop making them and I can just do the rest of them off camera it's not we, we, we've got what we need uh, to make the rest of them it's just more or less more of the same as what we just did come on but that should have give why did we not get a quest for that oh we already have a quest for Alf steel and so but for the seed we need the double alf steel to make the crux so that's four of them and then to make the seeds we need four of those so it's eight total that we need i guess i could do that right quick all right so we're back i am in the process here of making the pylons that we need for this there's those there's that guy, there is that guy, and we do need the Insanium. We need, I don't have any mana dust. We can fix that right quick. Well, let me tell you, it takes a ton of Insanium, or ton of Inferium to get to Insanium. We are going to have to definitely up our production because we need a ton of insanium for stuff um the main thing is we use it to make of course all the tier six seeds but we need it for 
uh, crafting the gems. I think it is. I don't remember what part of it. Yeah, the insanium. There's one of the the. Creative Essence. Yeah, we need a bunch of these gems in order to be able to craft just one of these. So yeah, that's something that we have really got to work on. Uh, so those two and those two. So there is that quest complete. This will give us our crux. And then all we need to do is craft our seed, which is going to be the next issue we have. I don't know if I've got any seeds left. I do not, which means we're going to have to do some work. And, poof, just like that, we now have our first tier six seed which is awesome these guys can go in here and we're a long way from making any more of those all right so let us go ahead and complete those quests we've got the one for the double alf steel and we've got the one for our alf steel seeds and our insanium seed which is nice that's taken care of beautiful all right, so our next part of the day, refined storage. I want to make our way through this guy right here, dimension card. Uh, we're going to need a few things. This guy here. We are going to need this guy here. We are going to need a infinite range booster. And we should be able to do all this stuff. And then the dimension card. Should be able to craft all this stuff up fairly easy like uh, there is that guy and there is this guy beautiful quest complete that's going to give us oh we need four of those it's all right we can make these there we go Quest is now complete. We can do that. That gives us some more wireless transmitters. We're not going to need that. Next up, we need the infinite booster or infinity range booster. Uh, this guy here makes it so we can use uh, our storage anywhere. Not that one. Uh, anywhere here in... We don't even have it, so I can't even do it just yet. But anywhere here in the uh, overworld, that's not what we want. We need three more of these guys, which we're going to have to make some more of these guys. And some more of these guys. That's seven. That might not be enough. That's eight. One two nope i need one more and there we go there is our dimension card beautiful that's going to allow us to do this use this anywhere uh we just need to make our crafting grid which won't be that bad to do uh let's just go in here there should be a quest for doing this this guy right here So this guy, we've got everything we need. Just right click on that. Let's do this. Let's do this guy. Why is that not working? Well, I'm not sure why it wasn't working on that cable, but it is now working. So now we should be able to go anywhere we want and be able to use this. Um, Twilight. Beautiful. 
Now we've got access to our refined storage system anywhere. All right, so one of the reasons why I wanted this guy, uh, other than the convenience, is I want to get started on our next bit of business. This is going to be a couple of episode kind of thing. We're going to get started on it today, which is getting into our bees. Uh, we've got a handful of things that we need to do. We should have a pretty good start at things. Uh, so first thing is we need to get beehives. Uh, we've got access to all kinds of beehives. I've got a few on me, uh, but we've been out in the world. We can find bunches of them as we need them. We're probably going to need more than I've got. So first things first, we got a few things we need to make. We need to make a manual centrifuge. That shouldn't be too bad. Beautiful. There's that guy right there. This does us absolutely no good uh, because it is manual. We don't want manual. That's too much like actual work. That's going to give us a honey apple. Uh, we can make a bee smoker. This guy here. This will help us get in and out of um, beehives without... actually taking any damage and making the bees mad um but we shouldn't need that we're going to try to skip straight into the apiaries so that is now done that gives us a smoker so next up is our actual centrifuge uh this one is a little more complicated we do need some steel sheet metal and we do not have any steel ready to go Let's go ahead and get a handful of these. We're probably going to need... I don't probably need that many, but that should work right there. Let's get our sheets made. That has the wrong thing in it. And let's get those guys going. All right. With that made, there is our centrifuge. Now, we're going to need this guy um, for a few reasons. Uh, one, this is what we use. That's adding energy. I want this guy to remove energy. Uh, this is going to get us our resources that we need. But the other thing that we need it for, in order to progress through um, our different apiaries and beehives, we need some beeswax. And to do that, we need a bunch of honeycombs. And, of course, the first thing that I did when we'd done the seeds was get these guys together to go. And this will process. We have a chance of getting sugar, beeswax. We didn't get the beeswax. Um, so this is the process that we have to do this. Now, there is a better uh, centrifuge. We can do Do we have it in here? Um Yes, centrifuge controller. These guys that's a lot of iron, but it's not hard to make, so let's let this go and I am going to make that. Alright, so we've got this guy built. Uh we can now run three stacks at a time instead of running just one. Uh, we can pump power in anywhere, it doesn't matter where, and we can also pump out the honey any which way that we want to. Um, so now it's just a matter of waiting on getting what we need for this. So, let's let it go. Alright, so our next bit of work is to get us through some of the tiers of beehives. So we need a tier one beehive. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to get us to at least 
I'm wondering. Uh, let's see here. Uses. We need one. We need four of these. So 16 to make a tier two. Getting to a tier two apiary would be great for us. I need to go find some more beehives. All right. So we've got a total of 24 uh, beehives. That is what we're going to run with beautiful we got tier two now in order to do this we need wax blocks this is where we're going to start running into a bit of our issue of having enough stuff um, which is more or less a wait and see kind of thing we've got 12 of them that'll be enough to do we need honey blocks. We've got these guys here. That's from uh, Jellyfish, which is awesome. That's going to make this even easier. So there is 13 of those. And then we've got three of our four tier one apiaries. We just need some more beeswax. All right, and with that, we have us a Tier 2 Apiary. Now, why do we want a Tier 2? Uh, this will get us double the amount out of the bees, uh, and it just goes up from there. From there, we can get the Tier 3, which actually gives us blocks instead of the comb. But for now, it'll work. All right, so now that we've got the Apiary, um, let's go ahead and complete the quest. These are just going to give us some beehives. That gives us a tier 1 apiary. So now we're up to the tier 3. We need apiary storage. This guy here shouldn't be that bad to do. Um, Really? It's going to give me all of that stuff? That's what I need right there. We actually have everything we need for that. Beautiful. And then the other thing that we need, that storage upgrade, we need the apiary breeder. Uh, so we're going to need... That's a creative breeder. We need creative essence for that. We've got everything we need for that. So there is that guy. Let's go ahead and make us another apiary storage. And that gets us a breeder upgrade. It gives us an additional breeder. Beautiful. Now, all we need is to set up our apiary. Let's go ahead and do this honey pot. Um, that gives us just some XP. And boom, there we go. All right, so we have got that squared away um we've got a couple of more items that i want to make before we're ready to get started going through our bee breeding and stuff uh we're going to need this some uh storage upgrades we're going to want a breeding time upgrade and I don't think we can add another one of those to it, but we will see. So, first things first. Let's get this guy upgraded. We need some clocks. So, there we go. There is our bee breed time upgrade. This will speed up our process of breeding the bees. Beautiful. We need another one of... We, wrong thing. We need another one of these guys. Let's get that going. Let's get that. Gold storage. Diamond storage, and finally our emerald storage, and this will upgrade our capacity. This is the gold one. With the emerald one, we've got plenty of storage in there. Not that we're going to need it, 
uh, we will go about that business later on. And I don't think we can add another one. We can add another one of those. Beautiful. Uh, so that's going to give us plenty of room to build, breed it some beef. All right. So with all of that, that is kind of where we are at for the moment. So I've got time for. Uh, so we're ready to get started. Uh, we've got our basic bees taken care of. That's got a villager in it. I forgot we even had that thing. Um, we've got our basic bees, I do believe, taken care of. There might be one or two that I haven't gotten yet. Uh, I think there's like a cat bee that I haven't gotten. It's not even called a cat bee. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, this guy right here, kitten bee. I haven't found him yet. Uh, but I think we have most of the... And I've not found an Oreo. These guys are hard to find. Uh, but I think I got most of the overworld bees. So we should be ready to start getting into some serious bee breeding. And we'll worry about that later. Uh, I have a bee floating around me. I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, uh, but it's pretty cool. So, but with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.